ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life and hopefully <laughs> the final episode of Being a Cook. Yes, that's right. Today we are finishing it and I got two more tu tuna. I was going to say tuna. I got two more of the... Wait. I need more rainbow shells? What? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I may as well show you guys the way I get rainbow shells. Oh, that stinks. I was hoping to <laughs> finish it up, like, instantly, and then do other stuff. So I've got a plan for today's episode, and it may have just been extended by a minute or two. Um, but I wasn't too sure how long the, the episode was going to last anyway, because I don't know what the cook's uh, song is. So, yeah, this has just extended it by a bit. I guess what we could do is we can go take Midnight for a spin. He could get us there quicker. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Let's go grab Midnight. Now, if you guys didn't know, Midnight was our horse. You know what? Or should I hire a turtle? No, no, we need we need to get Midnight out here. Because it's Midnight currently. Call your horse. I'll just bring out Midnight. Thank you very much. Okay, off we go. Yeah, we, we, know, we know he's not like a regular mount. Okay, off we go, Midnight. Charge. No, that's, that's when we get over here. So yeah, I get my rainbow shells by going to Nautilus Cave. If there aren't any on the floor, you can take out the, uh, what they call, like, black octo shells. I don't think the rainbow ones, despite being... No, they're called, like, octo guardian or octo shell knights or something like that. I don't think they actually drop the uh, rainbow shells. So yeah, if we just go into the Nautilus Cave here, just go to the north of Nautilus. Nautilus. Um, yeah, you can sometimes find them on the ground like this, but most easy way of getting them, I find anyway, is by taking out these octo shells. Boom. And then if they drop something red, that's not one. Glittering coral. Fantastic. Yeah, but if they drop a red bag, then usually it's a rainbow shell. I don't think it can actually be anything else. I'm not sure. Okay. Is that done? Red bag, please. You watch as I get nothing. I'm like, oh yeah, this is how I get rainbow shells and then get diddly squat. Oh, there's one right there. Rainbow shell. Boom. Cool. So that means now we can go back to our master's location and make the stupid fish soup. And oh my goodness, I hope I get it. <laughs> I really do hope I get it super. Because I do not want to have to make another one. Because fishing those fish is so tedious. I mean, you can see how bored of it I am because I'm, I'm yawning. <laughs> no, it's... The problem is that it's... Such a rare fish in the fact that in the area you get it from, Cacto Cove, there are actually three rare fish in there. It's the parasol fish, the sweet pastry fish, and the uh, sea bream of love. So that's why I was having such difficulties getting it, because I was running into the other two too much. Okay, there we go. Again, this is only a three-stage recipe. It should be super easy. In fact, look, look at how we finish it off by freaking five stars, and it's done. Oh, come on. If that isn't super quality, then I don't know what could be. Come on, Alfredo. Yes, super fish, soup of love complete. Okay, we do not need to continue, thank you very much. Let's just double check that all recipes are done, or, well, all quests are done. Uh, all exclamation points. That is fantastic. So, that means we have finished the cooking life. Uh, I don't want to talk to the cooking bench. I want to talk to Alfredo. Let's report. Okay, and how many points do we get from this? 5,200, 8,300, 9,300 points. We became a master cook. That is our 11th out of 12 life lives even completed. My goodness. <laughs> you learned the dream meal skill. So that's obviously the upgrade to um, Chef Special. Learned how to make master level recipes, which is fantastic. Congratulations. How does it feel to be a master cook? Heh, I expected no less of you. Well done, kid. We can't do without a proper celebration. It's party time, sorry. <laughs> Get everything ready. Not, no, not you. Sit down and relax. I'll have someone else do the cooking. Yeah, I was yawning there because I'm so t sick and tired of the cooking life. Anyway, enjoy the song, guys.
And there we have it, we are now a master cook. Congratulations! If you can find the time someday, let's join forces and whip up a feast that will be long remembered. Okay, awesome. And like I said, 11 out of 12 lives now mastered. That's that's pretty insane, not gonna lie. We nearly done it, and he's gonna ask us to save. I'll be like, sure, sure, I'll save. Look at that XP, it's 109,999. Let's talk to everyone quickly. Yes, yes, well done. You reached the rank of Master Cook. This special occasion makes you want to splurge a, a ton of dosha on cooking ingredients, right? Oh, give us a big beak egg, why don't you? I wasn't looking high and low for that. What about you, Sizzle? Cotton plushulations, Master Cook. Sizzle is plushy happy, as if Sizzle became a master himself. Sizzle has a gift for you. Please take it. Oh, thanks. Not like we haven't used one of them for like three episodes. Okay, what about Alfredo? He's probably gonna just gonna tell us about our master skill. Congratulations on becoming a master cook. Take this. No, it's not edible. It's an old bistro decoration. You can now unleash your mystic skill, so I trust your cooking will get even better. <gasps> oh, it's not edible. <laughs> yeah, it's a powerful cook, blah, 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 blah. Awesome. So, what are we gonna be doing for the rest of the episode? Well, I've already told you that in the next episode I wanna do, I'm gonna start off the wizarding life, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Instead, we are gonna switch our lives to be a carpenter because we have um what are they called things to make <laughs> what are they called things <sighs> yeah we have staffs to make for the uh, wizarding life so actually let's just double check to see what i've got to begin with because i'm pretty sure i would have kept one yeah the mooncrest staff which is 82 magic attack which is pretty good pretty good what? I just realized we had a lot of magic attack as a freaking carpenter. Never mind. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see what we can make. Because obviously we want to make all of the lower ones too. So that we can use them right off the bat. So like the oak staff, we kind of need that. Uh, we need blue stones for it, which is fine. we got everything in storage. Now i got to remember how to do this. Oh, that was easy. We can <laughs> Wow, we can just use our special skill straight away. That's pretty insane. And that's done. <laughs> My goodness i forgot how easy it is to make these low level stuff top quality item great we can sell it for lots <laughs> okay choose a recipe uh so what's next probably a pine one yeah that's easy enough to make just need a yellow stone and some pine logs ah this looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make oh my goodness i couldn't get my special skill straight away what am i going to do without it i'll tell you what i'm going to do still finish it pretty much instantly <laughs> And that's the pine staff. I shouldn't be laughing because I know that the later staffs are going to be a pain in the butt to make. Okay. So let's choose a recipe. Because what's next? Like the sweet one? Oh, palm. I need a ruby for that. Oh, wait, no, I need palm beams. Wow. Uh, let's just make some palm beams. Why not? It'll be super quick to do anyway. So eh. we'll get some extras from it. I could probably do it in auto mode to be fair. You know what, I probably could, but I'm just going to make it normally anyway. <laughs> because we'll probably get a bunch of extra from it, so why not? Never know when we might need them. Just like right now, I didn't know that I'd need them. And it's done. Didn't even need auto mode, we just had to bang it out in the hammer twice. Pretty pretty simple. Uh, I've got three extra making 11. Very nice. Let's choose the recipe, let's make the palm crest staff or whatever it is. I don't even know what the different things do, like... The different staffs. Maybe they've got like elemental stuff. We'll find out, I guess, like in the next episode. 
I'm sure it will uh, be very instructive in what to do. This should finish it off very nice and easily. Oh, it doesn't? I'm going to have to... Oh, yes, it does. Never mind. <laughs> I miscalculated how many steps there were. Okay, that's that one done too. Again, top quality. Fantastic stuff. All right, what's next on the list? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't chuckle. Because like I said, I know it's going to get more difficult. Sugar staff. We need sugar purple stones for that. That's fine. We can make our own mooncrest staff. What's the difference between these? Intelligence plus four, luck plus four. I kind of want more luck, to be honest. I've already got a Moongrass Crystal. Uh, I need a Star Cluster for that, so I can't really make it. Purification stuff. Earth Beam and Giant Claws. Batwing. Okay. So I kind of feel like I need to make the Batwing one. Evil Wings and Sinister Branch. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to do some stuff off camera. Because uh, I can't quite make everything, which kind of stinks, but oh well. Level three. Wait, did I... Oh, I could have just gone straight with the freaking palm one. I mean, oh, I didn't even need to make the pine one. I should have double-checked that. What about the sugar one? Level 3, then straight to level 4. So, what do I need to make this? Fur beam, moon cluster, and amethyst. I'm going to make one anyway, just to sort of flesh out the episode. Plus, the ones you make are better than the ones you uh, can get anyway. Plus, it's actually a difficult recipe. Who would have thought? It's not like I said it wasn't going to get harder. Okay, actually, this is like a nine-stage recipe as well. This is this might take me a while, although there seems to be only two steps per stage, which is fine because at least it know we know where it's going to kick us out, like that. Okay, saw it up again. Uh, this will probably be great quality. It won't be the best quality, but it will probably be great. It's great. Special skill that will see us to the end. I think. Yeah, that will. Awesome. Two more steps. Thank you very much. Mooncrest stuff, get. Not that I didn't already have one. Please be top quality. Ah, that's great quality. That's fine. Okay, so that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Fantasy Life. Next time, we are going to start off is in... <laughs> I butchered that. Next time, we are going to start off as part of the wizard life. Our final life to master before the uh, we take on the final chapter of the game. Like I said, between then and now, I'm going to try and make those extra staffs. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks once again, and goodbye.